What is going on to you Geminis out here? So you Geminis out there have the Four of Pentacles, Four of Cups, and you have the Moon. Um, there's definitely a sense of uh, anybody that's difficult to get to know. That's part of how it is that they will reel you in. So don't fall for it and just stay away from this person. Because... They're using the mystery method, which is the same goofy nonsense, goofy, you know, you trying to talk to them, they take forever and a day to contact you back, you know, to, you know, I'm doing stuff. And it's, and it's 99% of the times, the stuff that it is that they doing is not real anything serious. It's always some goofy stuff that they're busy with. Now, granted, Whatever it is that they say that they're busy with, that's more important. Let's take their word for it. But in the bigger scheme of things, is it really that important? Not really. It's always some small fry stuff where it's like, you know, this person wants to hang out with their friends and they're busy and all of that. But they're real ambiguous about it. You know, they're not really going to tell you, Gemini's, what it is. So if any one of you Gemini's right now are trying to, like, get to know somebody who's on that type of time where you're talking to them and it just seems like they just walk off. <laughs> ah, forget about it. You know, like they put their phone down. <laughs> walk off. It's like you ain't hear from them in 20, 30, 40, an hour, two hours, three hours, six hours, a day. They ain't really doing anything too much like that. Not really. Just don't take it personally, right? Don't take it personally and just move forward with your life. That's that's what it means. It just means move forward with your life. That's what it means. When they do that, I'm going to tell you what it means, Gemini. When they do that, when they do stuff like that, you know what it means? It means just move forward with your life because they ain't really on anything. Because when you ask them, what are you really doing? Nine times out of ten, they really don't have anything real to do. You know, they'll, they'll tell you straight up, I'm not really doing much. But you, you understand what I'm saying? So this is what I mean, Gemini, when I say that people are cooking the books. What what they're what they want other people to think is not what it actually is, right? Like they they just want you to ponder and to think about what they could really be doing and let your own mind do the work. Let your imagination run wild and do the work. While it could they could be laying down on their sofa watching television eating a pizza. You know what I mean? And the thing is that the uh, Ace of Swords and the Ace of Cups is about how they may, they like you and all of that, but you have to go after people that like you and aren't afraid to tell you that they like you. Because that ideology of thinking that, you know, you can go after somebody that's trying to show you the mystery method. The mystery method is living your life living their lives, texting you or calling you a little bit. And it's always easier to text that game because the because when you're talking to somebody, it's too in your face, right? When somebody has a serious problem getting on the phone all the time and all they want to do is text, they're not they're not at the very least and most. They're not versatile. They're not like, hey, I could be on the phone and I could be on the text with you. I'm multifaceted. If they're not on it like that, where they really can be on the phone, they really can be uh, texting you and all that stuff. If they're strictly text messages, yeah, those people, they're really socially awkward. And not only are they socially awkward, but they really don't have a whole lot going on like that, really. So what it, so, so what it is, is why I'm saying it like that is because they don't ever they don't ever what they what they're trying to do is is that like i said they're using the mystery method they're trying to do the very same thing gemini that i was talking about they text you right and then they like they they go okay like they put their phone in their pocket or they put their phone down somewhere they go do something else right and then they and and they just allow your mind to wander 
and think about what it is that they're doing or whatnot. Me, personally, I don't like all that type of nonsense because if a person don't want to talk to you, they can just be like, hey, I'm finna be up on out of here. And that's cool, you know? And at, and at first, that used to get me upset. Now, not at all. Now, whenever it is that somebody does that stuff, I'm at a point where I don't even care so much because I'm fixing my weaknesses. But I'm at a point where I don't even care so much. I don't even care at all anymore. Does it get does it get annoying? Absolutely it does. Because it's like you wouldn't do that if we were on the phone, but or face to face, most off most likely not. But when they when I see anyone doing that, I just be like, oh, okay. And I just go off honestly, and I just go off and I do something else and I live my life. Because like I said before, which what is over games is just living life. It's just being sincere and truly living a life and have something really important to do and doing that because you actually are the substance that so many people claim to have but don't that's a bar <laughs> so now the knight of cups now the three of pentacles like i said before when you have a life you don't play the game you actually move forward you meet you 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 meet with people face to face you you legitimately talk to people, get to know people. You converse with people that care about you. So now the Five of Swords, you know, the Five of Swords, those people want you to be needy that act like they're on and off with texting you. They want you to chase up on after them. No, but you, because you Geminis are just not doing that. You're not doing that anymore. You're not doing that, period. You're not chasing after people anymore and you're not going to do that with them at all because you're too experienced. You know too much now. You have too much game for that. You know where it's coming from. The mystery. I'm even giving a name to it because that's what it is. It's the mystery method. They want literally. That's what the pickup artists call it. The myth. I study this. <laughs> I study this stuff. That's that's what it is that they want. It's called the mystery method. The mystery method is they leave you by yourself. They got your mind going. They let your mind wander. And like they barely talk to you. And this is what I mean. You can't be in a real relationship like that. Not really. If you think about it, how you gonna be in a relationship with somebody you only see twice a month? You're not gonna you're not going to be. This is why a lot of this is why those pickup artists, they don't they don't have a significant other. They you, you ever noticed that with the pickup artists who talk about game? You ever noticed that they 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 know how to bring people together for fast relationships, right? Hot and heavy relationships. But you notice how it is that none of them actually are in a functional relationship where they're married. And not just married, but like they're Forget about marriage. Let's just say you're not even the marrying type. You don't want to run down to the courthouse and get the, I point out my pinky, but get the ring around your finger and any of that type of stuff. Just say spiritually married, where the two of you are in a committed relationship, but there is no paperwork or any of that stuff. You notice how they're not even in any kind of a union themselves. They're always single individuals that talked about the amount of success that they had. This is the success that they have and they're dating multiple people and stuff like that. But how come those relationships never actually end up being in a situation where the two of them are, are committed, where, where anyone is actually like, look, you, you my wifey, I'm your husband type. We not going down to that courthouse and getting our name signed on the paper. But we tight like that. You you live at your house. I live at my house. Two heads are better than one. Stuff like this. You ever notice that? Because it's the mystery method. They want you, Gemini's, to be in the dark. They want your mind to wander. They want you to think about what they're doing so that they can come off and act like they're more important than what they actually are. When in actuality, that's not even really the case at all. Like I said before, they could really be doing anything. And it's best for you not to allow your mind to wander and for you to, sorry, and for you to live your life, you know? So let's clarify the Six of Swords. The Hierophant, Two of Cups, 
two of uh, swords, the tower, and the page of pentacles. Yes, because you, you Geminis know that you're not looking for just a bounce around, right? A situation ship. You're looking for a real commitment. And you're not going to be able to find one with a person using the mystery method. It's just irritating, right? Because if the person isn't broken, they wouldn't be playing a game with you. You know, they... They wouldn't, be, they wouldn't be playing a game with you. So the Two of Swords, the Tower, and the Page of Pentacles right here represents you, uh, Gemini's, needing to understand that what what you got going on is y'all are in a in a in a world where anyone would do that needs another person. They're the ones that's needy, and the Tower and the Page of Pentacles represents. You Gemini's got too much life to live and too much to live for than to allow yourselves your time to be wasted with somebody who, 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 you know, plays that type of game where it's like they, they texting you or they calling you, you know, hey, I got something else to do or whatnot. Hey, you know, I got something else to do. Then you don't hear from them in like two, three weeks, you know, because it's the mystery method. You know, you don't hear from them in two, three weeks and all of that. But then they come back in and then they and then they tell you something else. And then they want you to think that that's the way that y'all build relationships or whatnot. It's like, no, you barely know the person. That's an acquaintance. That's an acquaintance. You don't you can't get to know somebody. The only time that they see you Gemini's is once a month. Are y'all crazy? That's not a friend. That ain't a you know, that ain't a relationship. They just want you to think that they kind of there for you. <laughs> you know, I've seen that type of same scenario play itself out too many times. It's like they kind of there. They're kind of there. They kind of show up. They every, you know, every soul. You know what I'm saying? Like they're just outside of your circle just enough to, to you know, to not be a total stranger, but not enough in your circle to call themselves someone that you really know like that that you know for sure that you can count on which is a snake so that's it comment on the video like the video subscribe to the youtube channel share the video